are continually being my mouth. I will bless his name because of his saving grace. And that's why.
He is so worthy. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey, I enjoy that song. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. When I say enjoy, I enjoy it. It just soothes the soul. Amen. Amen. I look forward. I look forward to Tuesday night chatting with you. Yes. Amen. He's worthy. Amen. Also, the one that come on for School of Wisdom. Amen. Amen. I tell you, amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. I Jesus is the answer. Yes. Them I, I like that. I like that. I like them some song that those new songs that introduced it to me yes. during COVID nineteen. Yes. Huh? <laughs> during the pandemic, during during, during the uh, shed in, mm -hmm. and I, I and they've been soaking in my soul. Yes. Huh? And, and, and out of all the bad that have happened during the pandemic. Yeah. Some good come out of it. Amen. Huh? Absolutely. Because I done heard some songs. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's agitated my soul. That's right. That done hope me. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear me? Amen. You know, that's that, that, that what our, 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 our elder says. Yeah. They don't say help, but hope me. Amen. It calls me to believe, to believe. Yes. In God Almighty. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Believe in a house. Yes. It hope. That's right. It's something to hope for. Amen. Truly. He's so worthy. So Hallelujah. Worthy. So worthy. But truly, we thank God for being here on this afternoon, on this evening. We used to praise and thank the Lord for how he has kept us. Yes. It don't seem like it's been that seven days. Huh? <laughs> so we here shouting about our market bunny celebration. Amen. But guess what? We back again. Back again. <laughs> Yes. Woo, Lord, time moves on, don't it? Amen. Good God Almighty. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, get you a lot of rest. You go to sleep as you want to. <laughs> You're going to lose a couple of days. <laughs> Amen. But it's good to be here on tonight. Yes. Amen. Another chat and chew. Yes, it is. Health slash the word of God. Yes. Amen. We don't, we're not going to forget our protocol. Amen. First, we would like to give honor to God in the presence of all the ministers. Certainly all the saints of God. Yes. Amen. And all my Facebook followers. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We truly, I'm not saying you're not a saint, but you're one of my followers. Amen. Truly we thank God for being here on tonight. And want to thank and praise the Lord after being here, how he has kept us. Yes. Saved and sanctified and still filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Truly we thank God for holiness. Yes. And everything that it stands for. Thank God, knowing that holiness Lord, glory. still is a way of life. Yes. A life that must be lived, not just talked about, but must be lived according to the word of God. Yes, yes, I'm still excited about that testimony. Yes. Because it was a time I couldn't testify. That's right. Amen, amen. I tell you, the saints of God were testifying, and I could only give them a thank God for amen for saving me. And I want to say I thank God for how he uh, kept me saved and sanctified. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Hey. But one day, one day, I received yes. the Holy Ghost. Glory. With the evidence of speaking it with other tongues. Jesus. Watch this. And the Spirit of God gave me utterance. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. We spoke with other tongues. The Spirit of God gave us utterance. Yes. And I can stand, I can stand, and I can say it, I can say it today. I am saved and sanctified and yes. is filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Truly, we thank God for that. Thank God for everyone that are listening on this evening, on tonight, especially my lovely wife. Hallelujah. Amen. The bride of my youth. Amen. Amen. I tell you, God is good. Solomon best put it when he says, glory to God, whosoever finds a wife, finds a good thing, huh? And she'll obtain favor with the Lord, huh? And I tell you, glory to God, amen, I found my wife and I got, a, I got favor with the Lord. I thank God for you, baby. Thank amen. You. amen. We've been together a long time. Yeah. Amen, amen. But we're going to be together a little longer. That's right. Huh? That's right. And what they say, I believe we're going to run on. Yeah. Huh? And just see, see what, what the end's going to be. Because you know what they say? There's something, something at the end. Good God Almighty. Yes. That's waiting on us. Glory. I believe I press my way. Good Amen. God Almighty. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. But life is something to be enjoyed. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. I don't know what's on these young folks, man. Amen. Amen. It was sad on Sunday. The two 16 year olds that lost their lives. My heart yes. went down. Yeah. I'm like, 16. Good God. They get shot. When I turned 16, the only thing on my mind was getting my driver's license. 
Amen, amen. Getting ready to go to the movies. <laughs> huh? Amen, amen, amen. Get trying to drive over to see my girlfriend. Huh? Everybody well, got found one. They were hiding from me. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. But you know, God had them hid. Amen. Amen. Until the right one. And when the right one got ready, Amen. It was available. Then God said, That she is. Good God up my day. Amen. Amen. But one thing about a dying one on my mind. Amen. My, my prayers is out for the parents. Amen. amen. I only can imagine how you feel to have lost, amen, one of your children. I, I talked with an old mother on one of the jobs I, I've been working. She said that was one of the hardest things to face yes. was to, amen, had to bury one of your children. Yes. She said, I buried my two oldest children. Amen. She said, that, that was so, that, she said, that was so hard. She said, losing your parents or uh, losing a parent or uh, your parents she said, it's difficult, she said, but it ain't that like losing a child. Amen? And she said that was, a, that was a hard task for her. So I only can imagine what the parents are going through with. Amen, amen. All we can do is tell them what's right. Yeah. Live the life before them. That's right. But there'll come a time when they say I'm grown, they gone. You can't do nothing but pray for them. Amen. 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 And leave them in the hands of the Lord. So my prayers are with you. Yes. If the words of comfort, these are words of comfort, to you, amen, where it says, amen, earth have no sorrow, the heaven cannot bow. Amen. In this hour of bereavement for those families that have lost their young children, mm -hmm. amen, regardless of accidental or whatever the case may have been, amen, remember that Bishop Dr. Reginald Bell and Co-Pastor Elder Diana Bell, we are praying for you and with you. Yeah. Amen. That God will comfort you in this hour and yeah. the hours to come. All right? But God is so good. Amen. Amen. We're excited about what God has done for us. Yes. Amen. We're back again, Chew and Chat. We like to start off our Chew and Chat with health slash the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't put too much emphasis on our health. Yes. Amen. We must take care of ourselves. Right. Amen. You know, I went to the barber shop. I was at the barber shop on, uh, on, on Friday. It was Friday. It was Friday. And my, my, barber, my barber says to me, he said, Bishop, you know, you got to eat some good food. Yeah. Amen. I'm like, really? Amen. Eat good food. Amen. Amen. He says to me, glory to God. Amen. Get you a steak. Amen. A good protein. He ain't say all the time. Get you some potatoes or get you some broccoli or some asparagus. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. So, so then I, 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 he had texted me that on Thursday. I got ahead of myself. And I went to him on, on, on Friday, and I'm sitting in the chair. He cut my hair. He said, Bishop, he said, you know you need to eat some broccoli. Mm -hmm. I looked at him. He said, because broccoli, they tell me broccoli help fight cancer. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Amen. The broccoli help fight cancer. So I said, he said, he says, uh, I said, you eat some good food now. And I said, Lord, I thank you. Amen. You got angels. Amen. Amen. Just talking. Yeah. Amen. To let me know, glory to God, what you eat matters. Amen. Glory to God. Amen, amen. And I said, Lord, I'm up here every Tuesday night trying to tell others and people got to tell me. Yeah. Glory to God. You got to put some greenery, right. amen, into your amen diet. Yeah. Amen. Get you some broccoli. Yeah. Get you some Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Get you some asparagus. Yeah. Uh, Y'all ain't talking. Collard yeah. green, turnip yeah. green, kale green, amen. cabbage green. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Good God Almighty. Green bean. Yeah. Hallelujah. No, I didn't say french fries. Because guess what? French fries is not a vegetable. It's a starch. Huh? No, I didn't say, amen, uh, uh, corn. Huh? Corn on the cob. Huh? It comes straight from the food. It's filled with, with green, green, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hook. What do you call it? Bang on it? Amen. What do you call it? Bang on outside of Amen, 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 amen. Shooks. Amen, amen. But guess what? A corn is not a vegetable. A corn is a starch. And you didn't know that? Amen. Oh, it's good. Amen. I'm not hating on nobody with white corn or yellow corn. It's still a starch. Glory to God. But you got to stay with the greenery. Amen. Amen. Vegetables. Yeah. Something that will take care of your body, help your body. Amen. And then the one thing about vegetables, they're not going to stick with you. Huh? They will go through you. Huh? And I'm here to tell you, glory, what's in you is going to come out of you when you eat them vegetables. Uh, right. 
Because them vegetables are going to help push it out. Hey, y'all ain't saying nothing. Hey, y'all ain't saying that. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> they didn't hear that, did they? Did they hear that? I'm going to say it again. Huh? The vegetables will help push it out of you. <laughs> y'all ain't saying nothing. God is good. You'll feel good out of a good couple of meals of vegetables. huh? You might have feel better. huh? I'm just going to leave that alone. I ain't going to go too far into that. Amen, amen. Because somebody said, this is a family. This is a family recording. <laughs> Well, your family will love you better if you stay here a little longer. And they ain't got to really take care of you, but you can take care of yourself because why? You ain't vegetables. So get you some vegetables. Yeah. Eat them up. Yeah. Amen, amen. They'll do you good. Yeah. Amen, amen. I'm a fan of vegetables now. Yeah. Amen. I can recall back in the year 2005, amen, my potassium, my potassium was so low. Yeah. And they had to hook that potassium onto, on, onto my uh, IV bag. I was in the hospital at Princeton Hospital. Okay. Amen. They put that view bag on my, on, on, in my, amen. Put that potassium bag, a little, little bit little clear bag. It was, about, it was about this big, about this big, about this big. Well, no bigger than this here. Amen. A little clear something. And I tell you, that stuff started dripping that IV bag. After about four or five minutes after the nurse walked out, it seemed like somebody was stabbing me with a knife right in my bone. Huh? I went to holler. You talking about a grown man hollering and crying? Good God Almighty. I didn't know I had it in me, y'all. Uh, them tears start coming out of me. Hello, somebody. Amen, amen. I was hollering out. It's my mom was there at the time. I, my wife was there sitting in the amen, hospital room with me. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And all I could say, well, the nurse done come in and juke good needle in my bone. Hello, somebody. That I be that, that mean, I tell you, that battalion was working on me. Huh? Good God Almighty. Amen. And the nurse returned and had explained to me what it was. It was that potassium that was doing it. Amen. She said, what I'm going to do for you, Mr. Bell, I'm just going to slow it down a little bit for you. Amen. Amen. Not slow it down, but she speed, she speed it up. She speed it up. Amen. 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 When she speed it up, glory to God, amen, ran through me too fast. Amen. Glory to God. The next morning, she come back in again with the same bag. Now, at this time, I decided I wanted to protest. No, I wasn't margin because I had the gown on with the back out. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I wasn't margin with no signs saying, saying, saying no more uh, 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 potassium. Huh? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. But I protested. Oh, ma'am. No, 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 no. I'm allergic to that stuff. She said, what you mean? I said, I can't take that right there. I said, oh, yes, you can, too. said, because the doctor ordered it. She said, yesterday, we ran it too fast. She said, but today, <laughs> we're going to do like the doctor order. Amen. And she piked that thing down real slow. Good God Almighty. Amen. Amen. It took about, good God Almighty, I don't know, probably two hours for that stuff to drip in me. And I hurt for two hours and something, not three. Glory to God. And after that, glory to God, the nurse come back to Mr. Bell. Said, now you do know that you eat your vegetables and you eat right and you take care of yourself. You will not have to do this no more. I said, what you say? Amen. Huh? She said, just eat vegetables. Right. Amen. You can control your potassium. Amen. Huh? And I, been, I became, I became, good God Almighty, an advocate of vegetables. Huh? I called my wife from the hospital, from the hospital room. I said, hey, babe. Amen. Amen. And I had to call. He said, what you want? I said, guess what I'm eating. She said, what you eating? I'm eating spinach. I make that spinach with the macaroni and cheese, huh? Amen. I, I, I ate them green and stuff. It was, it was, it was, it was tunnel green. Amen. Hadn't eaten them tunnel green. Good God Almighty. Amen. At 05, I was 40, what I was, 48 years old. Amen. Amen. I ain't ate, ate no, I ain't ate no tunnel green. Good God Almighty. About 40 years, 44 years. My mom said you eat all the time, but I just quit eating it. Amen. I, ate, I started eating that, and I got out of there and started going to Golden Corral. And I started getting a little but thing, what you call, I call them little small cabbages. I ain't know what they were. They were Brussels sprouts. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. I started eating broccoli. I started eating green bean. Every time I went to Golden Corral, I got something green off the, off the table. Amen. And my wife would fix greenery around the house, and I started eating greenery. Good God Almighty. Because guess what? Because I didn't want no more potassium. And I want to say this, it worked for me. Cause he was, amen, 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 fast forwarding to 2021 when I was back in the hospital again because I was dehydrated, low sodium. Amen. My potassium got somewhat low. Good God, I'm but they didn't get that low. Amen. They said, Mr. Bay, your potassium is a little bit low. I said, oh, Lord. They said, but we ain't got to put it on the IV. They gave me a tablet. They gave me some, uh, some liquid to take, a little cup of stuff to drink. Amen. And I tell you, God bless me. Why? Because I insist on eating some type of vegetables. I didn't say I eat vegetables every day. 
Amen, amen. But I promise you, we're going to be in my diet. At least, say amen, three to four times a week. Huh? Amen. You got to eat vegetables. Green beans is a vegetable. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So we do it in moderation. Amen. amen. So we want to leave that with you. Amen. Now next, glory to God, we're going to go to our best part of the, uh, the health tip, which is this right here. Amen. Huh? You know what this is? This is water. Yeah. H2O. Amen. 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 And statistics say you drink 40 Amen, a day, which is 64 ounces. Well, with this, you drink 40 either day. You be drinking, amen, uh, something like, amen, 67 point, amen, 67 ounces and something. Good God Almighty. But it'll do your body good. Amen, amen. We're going to consecrate this water and break the seal on it for you. God is good. Amen. We're going to consecrate it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we drink it. This is clear water. Ooh, clear. Hey! Whew. That was a good sweat down. Amen. I tell you what, this water, is, this water do you good. Amen. Somebody that bitch you put on a show just for Tuesday night. No, I drink water all the time. Amen, amen, because amen, water do me good. Even in my restriction, I know how to mix it. Huh? Y'all ain't saying that. I know how to mix it. You all see me, amen. When I get ready to eat, eat in the evening time and eat lunch and stuff, I get my Powerade or Gatorade out, Amen. and I get me a bottle of water, and I mix it. Good yeah. God Almighty. Hallelujah. I ain't hard-headed, and I ain't ignorant. <laughs> y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Amen. You smarter than the average bow, too. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing, but you got to know how to, amen, be obedient to what the doctor says. Mm -hmm. Amen. I prefer this water here. Remember, Mark, come from Sam's. Amen. Amen. You catch, this, catch that special going. You get 45 on for $3.36. But you know, like I know, we in inflation. Yeah. Inflation on rolls. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Because inflation on rolls, price done went up. Amen. Amen. They just hitting our pockets. Right. Amen. Yeah, they gave a raise out. But guess what they're doing? They're getting that raise back. You, go, you think I'm lying? Go to the grocery store. Yeah. Go to the gas station. Right. Your raise is gone. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Hallelujah. But guess what? There ain't nothing you can do about but pay it. But amen. But drink you some water. I don't care how high it gets. You got to drink water. Amen. amen. You drink you some water. It do the body good. Amen. Especially on medication. Amen. It's a good recipe. Amen. It keep your body. Amen. In good shape. Again, we drinking. I can't. Ooh, glory. Hallelujah. I tell you, I can overdo it. I almost killed that ball. Oh, that's a dead soldier. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But we thank God for it. Well, we back here again on a Tuesday in the evening. Hey, Amen. Relax and chill. Don't we look good? Hey, y'all know my socks. My socks. Hey, me and my socks got the purple in them. Got the blue and the green and hey, amen. Other other stuff in it. And I tell you, my socks look good. Y'all ain't see it. Look, look, look at that sock. Look at that sock. Look at that sock. My God, my wife got me dressed right. Now see, now you look at the corner coordination, and look at my dashiki. Uh -huh. My dashiki and my socks. Y'all, do y'all? Oh, you see it now? Yeah, I ain't no, I ain't no joke. Hey, amen, amen. I tell you, my children got grown and left, and hey, amen. My wife used to play with dogs when she was younger. Then she had two daughters and two 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 sons, and she dressed them, and they got grown and left, and now she dressing me. <laughs> And somebody, you look so cute, Bishop. <laughs> yeah, because my wife dressed me cute. I look good, y'all. Hey, amen. She got these socks. These socks hidden. I tell you, God, it's good. Hey, amen. Yes, I let my wife dress me. Hey, amen. Hey, amen. She smiles. I look good. I ain't thinking what y'all said. Hey, amen. As long as I left her with a smile on her face. Good God of mine. That's where you count at. Hey, amen. We thank God for being back here again on this evening. Amen. Amen. We left off here from on last Tuesday night talking about, amen, chemo, amen. life. Yeah. Amen. God laid on my heart, amen, to do a series on, amen, not to shy away from if you have to take chemo. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. God has given the doctor yeah. wisdom and knowledge how to extend yeah. our life. Amen, if we will allow them to do it. Yeah. Some would say, amen, amen, that chemo is nothing but a chemical that 
it's injected in your body that will, amen, destroy more good than bad. Amen. Well, you know, as I read and studied and did my research, amen, uh, that is true. It will kill, amen, good cells just like it killed cancer cells. Glory to God. Now, here we go. We want to ask the question, amen, what, cause, what causes cancer cells? Amen. Now, we don't rightly know what the answer is. Amen. Now, some would say that smoking cigarettes uh, causes cancer cells. Huh? But you know, I hadn't smoked a cigarette since 1978. Huh? Somebody said that's a long delay. Amen. Amen. From Amen 19, Amen 78 until 2021. Huh? Some says, Amen, eating barbecue from the pit. Lord of God. Amen. The smoke meat and stuff would call cancer cells. Amen. But listen, you got to learn how to eat it in moderation. Amen. You don't pig out from the pit every day. Or you ain't saying nothing. Amen. 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 And you know, the list can go on and on and on. What causes cancer? Amen. Some say, amen, household cleaning, amen, uh, chemicals causes cancer. Amen. Some will even go forth to say, glory to God, amen, that, amen, construction work, amen, like sheetrock dust and amen, amen, dust from concrete causes cancer. Amen. So they got a variety of things that causes cancer. Glory to God. But one thing about it, we do all can agree, amen, we don't know where it comes from or how we get it. Glory to God. But we know it's there. Yeah. But you got to understand that God has given the doctor wisdom and knowledge, amen, to go forth and to explore this. Yeah. Glory to God. They don't have all the answers. Amen. Listen to me. The Bible says, Amen, 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 amen. We cannot depend on man alone because the Bible says, except the Lord watch the house, then all watching is in vain. Huh? It's going to take the Lord to get a final healing. Uh, Y'all ain't talking to me. But what I'm trying to say is, amen, God can touch the doctors. And God, amen, can cause the doctor to come up with something, amen, to extend. But there is a certain thing that's too late. Amen. A lot of people wait too late before they find out. Amen. What's going on with them? Glory to God. Amen. Amen. They be in the eve of the night before they find out. Or they don't spread it too far. Amen. Because why? They just didn't know. Now I look at the miraculous, amen, thing that happened to me. Amen. When they said that, amen, I had cancer. Glory to God. Did you hear what I just said? I had cancer. Huh? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Hallelujah. But when they say I had cancer. Glory to God. When they discovered it, amen, it was at the beginning stage. Huh? Amen. It just sitting there. Glory to God. Amen. Hadn't done anything. Amen. Hadn't migrated. Hadn't went nowhere. Hadn't, hadn't a, 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 attached itself to anything. Amen. Glory to God. And so much they said, we believe we can kill it and remove it. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Glory to God. Amen. 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 They explained to me. They explained to me, glory to God, that something needs to be done. If I delayed, glory to God, amen, and it get wild. You know, things get wild, you know what I mean? Glory to God. Amen, 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 it can go get out of hand. Amen, amen, and it can shorten my life. But listen to me real good. Listen to me real good. Amen, amen, amen. I, amen, thought on it, merch prayer, talked over with my wife, and we decided that we're going to take chemo. Glory to God. And in taking chemo, good God Almighty, in taking chemo, good God Almighty. Amen, amen. It, it's a process. Amen. Amen, amen. No, 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 no. It's something your body does not like. Like anything else you put in this body. If it don't like it, it's going to show a reaction to it. Glory to God. And my body reacted to the chemo. It tried to reject it. Tried to fight it out. Huh? But by and by, Amen, 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 yield to it. Yeah. And it began to fight for me. Yeah. Amen, each day, every time I went and sat in that chair and they plugged me up, yeah. amen, it was an experience. Yeah. But I wanted to live. Well, Y'all ain't saying that. I want to be a prime example. Yeah. If God can use anybody, use me because guess what? Amen, I do have some descendants. 
I got some, I got some children, I got some grandchildren, some great grandchildren coming. And I want to be on record that you know what? Your granddaddy, your great granddaddy, amen. He went on and did what he had to do. Don't you shy away from it. Can I say this here? Glory to God, amen. I, I don't know who I'll be able to help with this amen broadcast tonight. Glory to God. But I think about my natural father, my natural father. He had a tumor growing in him. Glory to God. It started out according to him. Amen. You know, my dad was known to uh, exaggerate at times. Amen. 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 He would exaggerate. But it started out, he said that, amen, when, when the tumor started out, it was a little bigger than a golf ball. Glory to God. Amen. 25 years later, it was bigger than a basketball. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Glory to God. But he refused chemo and he refused surgery. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. Glory to God. But it kept on growing. Glory to God. He says, he says that, amen, when they told him, they, they, they Henry, say, uh, you know, if you don't let her do surgery or you do chemo, you'll be dead in six months. Amen. He's a well doc. Amen. Amen. If any cutting going to be done around him, he said, y'all give me a scaffold, give me a knife, and y'all get one. We're going to cut one another. He said, because y'all ain't finna cut on me. That's what my daddy said. Glory to God. Daddy lived long enough. Glory to God. Every doctor that met with him, Amen. He said, well, like three of them, or a group of three or a group of four or something like that. He, amen, every one of them died. And he would brag about how all them doctors died. And he was still living. Huh? With that tumor on the inside of him. But, you know, I tend to think on what if he had a letter went on and tried to shrink it or had it removed. My daddy might have been still here today. Huh? You don't know what effect that thing had on him. Glory to God. Amen. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. And so I thought on that and I thought on my, 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 my children and my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren and how we're going to be. I, said, I, want, I don't want to leave them with a doubt on what's going on. Yeah. Glory to God. Like the thing is growing in me. Yeah, I refuse to accept that. And they're not growing in me. They saw it in me. How about that? Yeah. Glory to God. Amen, 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 amen. So we don't know how long it's been there. Yeah. Glory to God. Because I am Henry Bell's son. You think I'm lying? Amen. Y'all go to the mirror with me in the morning time. Amen. When I look in the mirror, that joke will be looking at me. <laughs> I tell you what, that joke has been dead. I'll call my dad a joker now. Amen. Mr. Bell been gone, amen, amen, for amen, 18 years. But good God Almighty, he meet me in the bathroom every morning when I look in the mirror. I say, Lord, look at Dad. Hey, good morning, Daddy. If I don't see Dad, I see my Uncle Jane. Amen, Jane Rory. Amen. One of them gonna meet me every morning. Good God Almighty. That's why I didn't change, I didn't change my looks. Amen. Change how I look. Amen. But even with it, with, with me grow, growing his facial hair. Amen. When I said that look harder, Lord Henry said, "I see you. I see you, son." Amen. Amen. Uncle James, I see your nephew. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. But you is who you is. But some things in your gene. Amen. So, so, so we, 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 we uh, came up being, we, we, we taking chemo. Glory to God. We want to encourage you. Amen. If you have to take it, don't shy away from it. Don't postpone it. Glory to God. Don't say, let me go and pray about it. Because every day you waste is a day that thing can advance in you. Is it a scary process? Yes, 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 yes. You know, fear comes from the devil. And, but we are human. So fear come from flesh. Right. Amen. Amen. So, 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 so we, 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 we taking chemo. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm still sitting there. You see me, don't you? Yeah. Amen. Amen. God is good. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to live until God said no. Right. Amen. But I made up in my mind. I told my wife some months back. I'm, I am just going to enjoy life. Amen. All this drive-by shooting, all this accident, all these folks, all this crazy stuff, breaking in the house and stuff. I'm just going to enjoy life. To the fullest. We gonna travel. Hello, somebody. On land, on sea, and in there. Good God Almighty. Enjoying life. Yeah. Until God said, Well done, my good and faithful servant. I got need of you over him, but right now he ain't told me how need of him. He told me to preach this gospel here on earth. Yeah. Amen. Tell dying men, women, boys, and girls, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? Amen. We're not shying away from the gospel of Christ. Yeah. Amen. I thank God for my lovely wife. She talked on last week, amen, how she did the research concerning the insure, amen, the Gersona, amen, the Reeds, Peter Light, amen, Gate A, zero. 
You know, I try not to drink all that sugar if I can help it now. Amen, amen. I tell you, glory to God, amen. And this goes on power, eh? Uh, zero. Yeah, I said Peter like I said Peter like. Yeah, but we put we drank this stuff. Why? Why 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 your sport drink? Why? To it, it, it fill your immune system up. Because chemo gonna kill good cells and cancer cells. But in my reading and research, it's this what it says. Yes. It will kill some good cells. But when they kill them, they're going to come back healthier. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. So when your body replenishes itself, hallelujah, yeah. you're going to be a more healthier person. Yeah. No, no, no. Yes, you may be weak for a season. Huh? You may be, I mean, head may be light for a season. But when you bounce back, can you shout it? I'm going to bounce back. back. Good God Almighty, I'm going to preach that message. Oh. Amen. Gonna bounce. But when you bounce back, yeah. you're going to be a better, you're going to be a better a vessel. God be able to use you more. Yeah. Good God Almighty. I said here tonight, tonight, I want you all to understand. I feel better tonight than I felt. Amen. And yields. Yeah. Amen. Strength wise. Good yeah. God Almighty. Somebody said, well, bitch, you just worked yourself down. Well, did I? Or what was going on with me? But I, I, I strength. Yeah. Good God Almighty, I, I feel like Brother David now. I, I feel like running through troops, huh? And, and just leaping over a wall. Oh, I feel like taking off him. Yeah. Good God Almighty, why? Yeah. Amen. Cause I feel good. Yeah. Good, good, huh? It's something when you're living for God, yeah. or living for Jesus, yeah. and doing the will of God. Yeah. He'll give you inner strength. Yeah. Amen. I'm not around here weeping and moaning and hollering and crying and going on. Amen. But living for the Lord, hey, it'll pay off. Huh? Amen, amen, amen. Any time. Amen. We preached a message on Sunday. This, the healing is successful. Amen. But however, we, we, we went forth. We went forth and we, amen, enduring, amen, chemo. Glory to God, despite the side effects. Glory to God. God has blessed us. He has strengthened us. Amen. We ready for another round. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. We're going we gonna to finish this thing. Good God Almighty. We can help somebody. So what I'm saying on tonight, amen, if you feel something in your body that you felt like wasn't there last week, last year, go get it checked out. Huh? Amen. They tell you you got to have chemo, radiation, whatever it is, do it. Glory to God. Amen. Because God wants you to be a witness. wants you to be a light. Amen, amen, got to be that light. Amen, amen. I thank God for my support system, especially my lovely wife. I tell you, amen, amen, amen. I married her because I loved her. And she looked good, you know what I mean? She looked, she looked good now. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen, it's about you got married because of the flush. Yeah, she, she was looking good. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But I loved it, her, and I love her tonight. Glory to God. And didn't know I was getting in that package. Huh? I can hear my wife, my mom saying about my wife many times. I don't believe ain't too many times I talk with my mom when she always would say, hi, Diane, doing? She would say, son, amen, you got you a good wife. She said, they don't make her like her no more. Huh? She would tell me that so many times. Amen, amen. I had got complacent with her. Amen, amen. But mama would say, say, Red, you got you a good wife. Mm -hmm. Amen. They don't make them like Diane no more. Good God Almighty. I thank God I got them before they quit making them. <laughs> God is good. Y'all, but get, your, your wife ain't treating you right, but get you a robot. <laughs> hey! Good God Almighty. God is good. But you know, love, when you love somebody, you do what you got to do. But she's been there for me, been with me, taking care of me. I'm not wanting for nothing. Amen? Well, you know, I'm going on and on and on. That, ain't that clock moving, baby? Good God of mine. I said, you, let, you want something? i let you have something to say. Because no, I feel so relaxed now. Amen, amen. Because you know, I, I heard the Bible say, when I just think yeah. of the goodness of Jesus, yeah. huh? And all that it done for me, yeah. huh? Because the devil been swinging at me ever since from birth. Huh? He been swinging at me. Amen. But guess what? I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> God is good. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, I think about, I think about, I think it was 2017, it might have been 2018. I don't know. 
Ah, yeah, it might have been 18, 18 or 19. We were working on the job. Amen, amen. We had, amen, a support beam holding up a, a, a beam in the air. We were working on the ceiling. Amen. And we weren't focused on what we were doing. And that four before fell out the air and hit me right behind my ear. Hit me right behind my ear. It knocked me to my knee. I remember taking a, a breath like that there. Huh? My wife went over there and laid hands on me. My, both of my sons were looking at me. I was, and, and life was trying to leave me. But God said, not yet. Huh? Form a, 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 a infection. Amen. Read him behind my ear. Amen. Went to the emergency room. Amen. And God blessed. It didn't go inward. It came outward. Amen. Amen. The doctor does on duty. He pushed that thing and that stuff went everywhere. Huh? Say, God know how to do it. Huh? If he had to went in with a seat in my brain, and hey, I wouldn't have been here. Huh? So God been there for me. I'm not tempting God. But God said, I got a job for you to do. Huh? Now I know he got some more preachers out there, and I'm not going to get Elijah's spirit. Hey, uh, yeah, Elijah's spirit. I'm not going to say I'm the only one. Because there's many men out there that's preaching and teaching this word. But I know I'm one of them. I am one of them. Yeah. That'll tell the story. Uh -huh. I got my own unique style that God told me to tell it. Right. Glory to God. And God said, I still want to use you. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Oh. Amen. And tell somebody, we ain't a soul for Christ. Right. Amen. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Yeah. Let me be quiet, baby. I'm, I feel something. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Yeah. Because it is. Yeah. Not was yeah. The power yeah. of God unto salvation. Amen, bro. Amen, bro. I'm going to let you have something to say on chemo because time is running out on us. Amen. We got a, amen, a conference call coming up. Amen. amen. And I don't want I don't want to go past my time. And yeah. Amen. Amen. So I, I don't want to people think Bishop Bias. He do all the talking. Amen. But no, my wife let me talk. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm back to my mom again. She said, Red, Dan, let you do all the talking. You always talking for her. <laughs> Well, we've been, I've been doing that, amen, for 43 years, huh? Amen. She'll say, that's nothing. She'll talk now. i never forget when the Lord told you to preach. <laughs> I didn't say he asked you to preach. He told you to preach, huh? And when folks found you were preaching, they said, I got to go hear this, huh? Because they ain't know you know how to say nothing. Good God of Bible. They went and heard you and said, oh, no, we can't hear that no more. Now, they came once. They wouldn't come twice. <laughs> so that girl got something to say. Good God Almighty. Amen, amen, amen. You like to have something to say, baby? Amen. Amen. I just give God, you know, all the praise, you know, all the glory, you know, because I just ask him, Lord, you know, we have been down a lot of roads, but we haven't been down this one. And 
God has been with us. He went through it. And he's going to carry us all the way to the end. Amen. He just seemed like just there with us when he needed the most. You know, he's right there. Amen. And I just thank God, you know, so much for your your um, your people, friends, and things. You know, how that it just means so much to just they call you. Amen. Check on you. You know, I just, you know, calling, you know, like Dr. Bear Bishop, you still on the mind. That means a lot. It does. It does. What love do? You know, and I just thank God, you know, they just don't know how they make me feel when they when I hear you, you know, call they'll call you and just they check on you and, it, and my heart just you know, just rejoice because I'm like, okay, they that's love calling you and checking on you. And you know, you know, I wanna interrupt right there, right there. You know, when people tell me I didn't call you because I didn't want to worry you. But you can call me and just say, uh, Dr. Bell, I just called to see how you were doing. Amen. Amen. You can call and encourage me. Amen. Just because you got a lot on your plate, and you don't have to call me and tell me that. And I kudos to you. Hats off to you for not wanting to worry me with that. But I still should be able to hear from you. Amen. Uh, Bishop Dr. Bell, I just call you. Lord, let you on my mind. I've been praying for you, and I, I know all is well. And, and just in the conversation. And that means a lot. That means a lot. That means a lot. Amen, amen. So, 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 so. Uh, if you just can't use me unless I got something to help you with, then, 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 uh, I wonder about that sometimes. Amen, amen. I just, I just, just check and see how you doing. Amen. amen. So when you say that, it come on my mind. Go ahead. Amen. It, it just means a lot. You know, I just thank God, you know, like I said, for how, you know, he just can feel and he knows how to hear your body or, you know, uh -huh. your Uh -huh. It's all him, and, and you can't do nothing but praise God and just give him all the glory because you appreciate what he's doing and what you see, you know, the work of God, the handwork of God that's all on you. So you can't do nothing but be excited, and you can't do nothing but praise God and magnify him for his goodness. You know, and I just thank God, and like you were saying, even when you got hit up the side of the head, you know, I thought I, I was just, I was just sitting here. And I just said things that are seen and unseen, you know, how that God, you know, he just protects us. And when you did go to the, the doctor, how that, like you were saying, he let the knot come on the outside. It should have been on the inside. Amen. You know, because you thought about the false sack and then how he bumped his head and they say he laid down. And I just thank the Lord and how, you know, he's not here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all of that, you, you just thank God and you just be so grateful. You know, for God, you know, what he has done, you know, because when you went and they just messed it out and, and I just said, Lord, you know, you're so good. So good. You know, he, he protects us and like you say a lot because he knew he wanted us to be sitting here, you know, to be a blessing to somebody else, you know, to just encourage them, you know, to just hold on, you know, and like God got you, used to you, you know, as a vessel, you know, to encourage somebody else. Yes, you know, we're human just like everybody else. So this is things, you know, you you like to say you gotta be afraid or whatever, you know, but hey, God stepped on me, you know, to let you know I was with you. Mm -hmm. I was with you. So it just it means a lot. And I just thank God, you know, so much, you know, for that because it's a blessing, you know, to know God, you're you're there. And you're doing That's true. That's true. And, and, and you know, we got to get out of here. But you know, I think back back to my appetite and by eating. You know, I'm, I'm I, I, if I can think about it on, on next Tuesday night, I'm, I'm gonna try to get them that them uh, what you call them thing, amen. I, I, all them nausea medicine that I got that I hadn't take I hadn't taken yet, amen. Cause I, I hadn't need them. I don't need them, amen. And the medicine they gave me for nausea for for for, for, regurg for regurgitation and all that kind of stuff, and amen. I hadn't I hadn't had to use them. Glory to God, Amen. We are gonna put we are gonna put them all up here, and, and, and it may be two pills out of them, Amen. Out, out of all them bottles, Amen. We're gonna try to bring them up here on next week, Amen. But you know, God has given my appetite back. Right. Glory to God, Amen, Amen. amen. I, I thank God for that, Amen. We picked up our weight, 
Glory to God. Amen. Back to where we, our normal weight. I didn't say excessive weight. Because <laughs> I've been to the excess with weight. Glory to God. But this is the size I was. Glory to God. Amen. I mean, 230 pounds. Amen. Amen. This is where I was. Glory to God. As a young man. Glory to God. When I was moving around doing. Amen. I weighed 230. So this is me. Glory to God. Amen. Wearing a, 30, a 36, 38 pants. Good God Almighty. A large and an extra large and a shirt. Good God. Hallelujah. Amen. A 42, amen. A 42 long and a 44 long and a spoke jacket. And a, hey, glory. Hey, God is good. So we're back to that. Amen. But you know, you know, you know, amen, amen, to be able to eat. Amen. And on, on yesterday morning, amen, when, when, when the lady called from uh, the oncologist, she's checking on me, said, you still eating? Amen. Because this disease is something else. And chemo is something else. It will make you, it will make you. Amen, 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 It will make you want to, good God Almighty. Amen, amen. Make you don't want to eat that. Huh? Amen. The spirit becomes everywhere. But I'm eating. Then, then I want to take out time and thank God for the saints of God. Amen. Those of you that contribute, amen, to me having a meal every week. Huh? Every week. That's how I'm coming in. Amen. For me, for, for a meal. Hallelujah. They don't, want, they don't want me to starve. Now, I don't know how others feel about their members. Yeah, but those that the Bible has a prayer, the best members there is. Amen. Amen. I said on last week, and I'm going to say it again on today. Amen. They have amen, kept the camp good through this here with me. Amen. I ain't had to call nobody to my office, and I ain't had to amen, rebuke nobody because they've been handling themselves the way they've been taught. But no, they've been letting the love show. Amen. Those that let the show. Amen. And some of them let something else show. You know what I mean? But we ain't worried about those. Amen. But those that are with me. And then we have some, we have some there that give me extra. I, I never forget. I don't know. What, 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 what's, what, what's it? Saturday night? Friday night or Saturday night one? Amen. Amen. Sent me $75 cash out. Set for our dinner. That's right. our, 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 our Sunday evening, Sunday evening dinner. They want me to eat good. And guess what I did? I went to the long home. Hallelujah. Got them cowboy steaks. Cowboy pork chop. Wait, no cowboy pork chop here, cowboy steaks. It was two of them. Hey, sweet potato. <laughs> ah, side salad. Some asparagus. No asparagus is high on the menu. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Side salad bread. Hallelujah. Got you that, 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 that Parmesan crusted chicken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The saint want me to eat good. Get away. Yeah, I got enough to go back to go, go back again. I won't be able to get that right, but I thank God for them. Out of nowhere. Huh? Don't gave me what they normally give me every week to get, make sure I get something to eat. Amen, amen. But yet it's still gonna give me something extra. Go amen for your Sunday dinner. Hallelujah. I tell you what. Amen. I'm a spoiled pastor. Thanks, by the way, for spoiling me. <laughs> I'm just a spoiled old pastor. <laughs> amen. Amen. We appreciate you. God is so good. Well, listen, we got to get out of here. God is so good. Appreciate you tuning in on tonight. Amen, amen. I tell you, glory to God. We, amen. We set our date for our market burning celebration. Amen, amen. The third Sunday in July of 20, glory to God, 22. Amen. The third Sunday in July of 20 or 22, we will be having our market burning celebration. Glory to God. Amen. I'm here to tell you, glory to God. Amen. God going to bless us. Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. I put a date behind it. Glory to God, because, amen, God says time to put a date on it. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We got our slogan for, the, for that we're going to have on for that particular service. Amen. Our banner going to be made up, constructed, and hung. Amen. This is yes. the Bible Way House of Prayer. Amen. 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 It, amen. amen. 3501 or 3505, whatever you want to call it, yes. it's going to belong to the saints, amen. the members yes. of the Bible Way House of Prayer. Amen. And I'm so glad in year 19 and 81 I joined the Bible Way House of Prayer. Yes. And I've been a faithful member. Yes. Good God Almighty. Yes. Amen. Ever since 19 and 81. Yes. Amen. God is good. 
Amen. Now we finna own another people property. Amen. Amen. I tell you, God is good. That's the third Sunday in July. That July the 17th, 2022. Yeah. Amen. We will be celebrating. Yeah. Amen. Our mortgage burner celebration. Yeah. But as of today, amen, we got the mortgage down to $34,888.38. Yeah. Amen. We do have the mortgage down yeah. to $34,888.38. Yeah. We got such a great response yeah. from last Tuesday night. Amen, amen, from, from, from people via Facebook. Amen. amen. They sent money, cash out. Right. They sent money. Hallelujah. Amen. Online giving. Amen. Checks in the mail. Amen. amen, amen. We just trying to count this money up. So it, it, it down, it below this 3488. Amen. 8838. Glory to God. It down below that. Glory to God. Amen, amen. I tell you, God is so wonderful. God show me what he can do. Amen. I in the, within the sanctuary on Sunday. Amen, amen, amen. We still only had 17 pe people sitting on the pew just to see how this mortgage done drop. Amen. I was reflecting, I was reflecting. If I go back, if I go back out from Dacia on, 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 on my little brochure, amen, amen. I tell you, God is good. Amen. If I go back, glory to God, to June 17th, good God Almighty, amen, June 17th, amen, amen, or 20. Amen. 21, 2020, we owe $212,838. Yeah. My Lord, the glory. Yeah. Amen. June of 2020. Huh? If that's right. If that's right. If I got that right. Let me let me look at my paperwork here. I, I, sh I should do research before I start running my big mouth, but I'm, I'm talking about it now. Yes, yes, yes. June of 20. Glory to God. June of 2020, we had a balance of $212,880.37. Huh? My Lord, the glory. And now here we is. Here we is. Here we is. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. February of 22. We're down to $34,888.38. Hey! 38 cents. Amen. Don't tell me God didn't do it. Amen. God came through for us in the middle of the pandemic. Huh? You know how to count. Hallelujah. This kind of money come up. Amen. Amen. How? How? Somebody do fast and pray? Yes. And give it. Somebody gave it. Hallelujah. And I want to say thank you to that somebody. Was that somebody you? Thank you. Whatever you gave. Amen. You didn't strip me. Shook the shoulder and said, I don't care. You didn't want to make a joke out of it, but we don't come down. Amen, amen. We were around 340,000 four years ago. Hallelujah. We had a slow takeoff, but we're up to speed now. Amen. Again, put it down on your calendar. Amen. The third Sunday in July, which is July 17, 2022, we'll be having our Margaret Burner celebration. Amen. God is good. Listen. Somebody said, well, how can I give to that ministry? How can I, be, amen, be, be part of that ministry? Glory to God. Amen, amen. First, amen, you want to become a partner in this ministry? Glory to God, want to become a member. You know, I came in on Sunday from, 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 from service. Somebody had left, had left a message on my, on my house phone. I, I, I certainly listened to the house phone. Amen, because, you know, we get all kind of calls on the house phone. Glory to God. But they told me what the name was and say, amen, they want to come, amen, and come back to the church. And want to put the name back on the road. Let me tell you something. Amen. You can put your name on the road by inboxing me. Amen. Inboxing me. Amen. On Facebook. Amen. You inbox me. Amen. Give us your name, your number. Amen. I'm here to tell the secretary to put your name on the road until you can make it to the sanctuary. Glory to God. Amen. You really sincere? Inbox me and give us your name, your number. Glory to God. We'll put your name on the road until you can make it to the sanctuary. And I want you to know with certainty, glory to God, we will be praying for you and with you. Glory to God. Now, for those, amen, that, that say, you know what, I ain't interested in putting my name on the road, but I just want to give some money. Hey, I thank God for you too. Amen, amen. I thank God, amen, for my honorary number. Amen, amen. Come, amen. Put money behind your mouth. Amen. Go to our website, www.thebiblehousepearl.org and follow the donate link. That's www.thebiblehousepearl.org and follow the donate link. 
Or you can give me a text to give, all caps, G-I-V, number two, T-B-W-H-O-P. Amen, all caps, amen, G-I-V, number two. Amen, T-B-W-R, amen, H-O-P. Well, to the area code, 502 650 9147. Glory to God. Or you can send us a check. We like them checks. Is it good? If it's all right with you and your bank, glory to God. You can send us a check. Amen. Send it to our P.O. Box. Don't worry about our street address. Send it to our P.O. Box. P.O. Box 8310, Birmingham, Alabama 35218. I'm here to tell you when my staff will go down and they'll pick that check up out of the P.O. Amen. Make sure you get to where it's supposed to go. Glory to God. But we thank God for you. Thank God for you tuning in. Oh, you got cash money you want to give? We take cash money as long as don't leave no ink on our hand. Huh? Amen. I don't care how much it is. We'll, we'll pay some lights all on that cash money. Because <laughs> we don't want to give no coronavirus to, 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 to the teller at the bank. Hello, somebody. We'll spray that money down and we'll get it to the bank. Amen. We're doing in-house service every other Sunday. Amen. The first and third Sunday, we be in the house. Amen. Second and amen. Fourth Sunday, we'll be out the house. Amen. But God is still good. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, you can give to this ministry and we appreciate you. But remember, glory to God, we're still in the midst of this pandemic. And I know the mass mandate is being lifted all around the United States. People are going have went back to normalcy. Amen. They saying amen to amen to Corona. Amen. 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 Uh, 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 uh. Thing they were doing for the coronavirus, they lifting, amen, the mandates, amen. You ain't got to do this, you ain't got to do that. But I'm here to tell you, glory to God, I'm not saying they not going to lift it, we ain't going to be able to do it. But I'm saying not now. Let's give it a few more weeks. Let's see what this thing going to be. And don't be the first one to jump out and say, I ain't got to do this no more. I listened at the radio on, on, on Sunday evening. They said, even amen, amen, and the happy place on the earth, amen, which is dead in the world or dead in the land, you don't have to wear no mask no more. Huh? Sea World, Lego Land, you ain't got to wear no mask no more. Amen. To get ready to travel now, you ain't got to pack no mask no more. But listen to me. Don't fall in that trap. Amen, amen, amen. The, the one that was hosting the show said, but if it was me, I'll take my mask. Glory to God. I'm just saying to you, let's be wise in this season. Amen, amen. Go forth, glory to God. Wash your hands. Huh? Wash your hands. Wash them real good. Amen. At least, at least, amen, 30 seconds. Amen. Wipe them germs off. Social distance. Stay at least six feet away from anybody. Amen. Don't let them get in your space. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Glory to God. Amen. And for God's sake, wear a mask. N95, KN95 was just a mask. Put a facial covering on. Glory to God. Amen. The storm ain't over with you. Glory to God. Amen. I always come a false before the real. Remember what I said. Glory to God. Let them fall for it right now. Amen. They trying to get this money up for spring break. Amen, trying to get you to go, amen, shopping for that Easter rabbit. Amen. Easter rabbit, huh? Amen. Amen. Don't do it right now. Amen, you come this far, let's go a little longer. Wear your mask. Amen. Amen, then remember, glory to God, stay safe. Stay watchful. Stay prayerful. Huh? Be strong. Woo, woo. In the Lord. Amen. And live. God bless you, him. God is a good God. We appreciate you. Amen. I tell you, that broadcast went on by dinner. Amen. I'm running four minutes over, but that's all right. Amen. I'll be waiting on the deacon to call me. They got that conference call. Amen. I, I'm a proud pastor. Amen. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Family and friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we do. Thank you. Hallelujah. But Brother Lee Williams would say right about here, I got a few more hills and, and mountains. <laughs> but I can't give up now. Amen. But God is good. We appreciate you. Amen. Until next time. God bless you. Yeah?
shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless his name because of his saving grace. And that's why. Just how good God meant to you. So Can I get away? 